Hi everyone. In this quick video, we're going to learn about how we can download a checklist out of the Plecoptera species file. Data living in the Plecoptera species file reside inside taxonomarks, and this is their public spacing base. To do this tutorial, you'll need the species file database of your choice, in this case, the Plecoptera species file, and a tool called OpenRefine, which you can find at openrefine.org. It is free, open source software, easy to install. It runs locally on your computer. And the cool thing is you can't hurt your data, it keeps your raw data raw. Uh, so you can play freely with your data without fear of messing it up. Time to run this whole workflow probably takes uh, less than 10 minutes. To do uh, the example here, I'm going to be grabbing all the data from the Plecoptera species file in the Darwin Core archive format, and then opening OpenRefine and in uploading that data file here, in which case I can then fast it by things like country um, and like the scientific name or something like that in order to generate the checklist for the region uh, of your choice. So here, I'm going to click on this where it says DWC. I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can actually see here. I'm going to click this. And if we look way over here in the top left, we can see that it's downloading. We're going to see it here. And now I can see this file. And in my case, I'm going to show in folder. It's in my downloads. You can see that I've already done this before. This is just to show you how this works. So now that I know where to find the download, I can come here and go look for that file. Browse, downloads, there's the file. Click open. And it, in order to get this file into OpenRefine, I just have to click next. And now some of you may be familiar with some of these fields. We can see country, we can see genus, family. So it looks right, columns. So we're going to say, yeah, that looks good. That's our preview. So we're going to say create project. All right, here we go. And now we're going to take a subset of this 19,735 rows. Let's say we just want the ones for the United States. We have to find the country. We have to find the column that says country. Aha, here it is. Facet. So for those of you who are familiar with this, you'll know, uh, and we're going to explain, facet is essentially a way of saying, what are the unique values in this column? And how many times does that value occur in that column? Aha, there are 88 distinct values in the country column. And we can see what they are and how many records there are in the Plecoptera species file for each country. So if you just wanted to generate a list of, okay, how many countries are represented in the Plecoptera species file and how many specimen records do we have for each one? This would be your list. And this is a very, a nice way to sort of be able to contextualize and grab your data. So now, Now I can say, let's limit this to the United States. So I can come down here and say, let's just do the United States. You notice the row count went down. Now I could say, give me all these records, for example, export. I could export a CSV file or an Excel file, and it would just be these records, just these US records. If I wanted to now, though, I could go to the genus column. There it is. And I could facet. 
And now I have a very nice count of how many specimens we have per genus. So I just click here where it says 112 choices, and it actually gives me this facet choices that's tab separated values. So now I have exactly what I want, which is all the genera that are in Placopter species file. And I can copy that, and I have my list to put in my Word doc or wherever else I need to generate a list of I'm reporting on what's inside the Placopter species file and somebody asked me for a count by um, genera. So then you can imagine, obviously I can formulate, you know, make that in whatever format, tidy that up to be the expected format. If I want, I could go further and I could say, well, I only want like these two genera, or maybe I don't want genus, I want country, and then I want state. So I already limited it to US, so let's go back now instead of by genus, which I took away, we're going to go by state. So now we go to the state province column and we can say, I only want to see things from, hmm, let's see what looks like fun here. Ah, Ohio, cool. There are 5,000 records in the set from Ohio. So we can click that. Now we just see 5,307 matching rows. I can double click that. Here's where I can see the number of specimens per state. I can get that data if I like. And if I want to export these, I can certainly just say export and grab just the state of Ohio records. If I want to, I can then further limit this set by showing me what the specific uh, genera are. So we have to find genus again. I have to go back here, I think. Genus, yes, there we go. That's it. And now we've said United States, choose Ohio. Here's my 30 choices. I can click this, and now I have a count for genera found in Ohio and how many records there are for that. So in our Word document, we have species for the entire data set for the United States. And then I can have, actually, sorry, genus by United States. And then this is genus for Ohio and the number of records for that. With that, you can export that if you like, the whole data set with all the columns, or in this case, we were just supporting this, uh, outputting this list. And you could do the same thing for um, scientific name. So, so if we also wanted to get a little bit lower than genus, we could fast it on this. And now we have United States, state of Ohio, all the genera, the scientific names, and there's 113 distinct ones and the number of times they occur. So that will tell you how many, not only the uh, species that appear in the state of Ohio that have been documented, but how many records there are for that as well. So then you can click on that. And then again, now you have your complete list of all the species for the state of Ohio and how many records there are in the Placoptera species file for that. And again, I realize I'm doing a very quick job here of just creating pages and copying and pasting in there, but you obviously could do something like um, paste values, and then you can format those however that you want. That's it. That's how you get counts out at different levels. Um, depending on what it is that you need to be able to do.